Vertebrates cannot convert fatty acids, or the acetyl-CoA derived from beta oxidation of fatty acids into carbohydrates. The last step of glycolysis, which is the conversion of phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvate by pyruvate kinase, and the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA by pyruvate dehydrogenase, are essentially irreversible. So in order for gluconeogenesis and carbohydrate biosynthesis to occur, a cell needs to have a net conversion of acetyl-CoA to oxaloacetate, which can then be converted to phosphoenol pyruvate by phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase to bypass the two irreversible reactions. However, in citric acid cycle, there is no net conversion of acetyl-CoA to oxaloacetate. Instead, for every two carbons that enter the cycle as acetyl-CoA, two leaves as carbon dioxide. In germinating seeds of plants, the glyoxylate cycle serves as a mechanism for converting acetyl-CoA to carbohydrate, facilitating a net synthesis of carbohydrates from lipids. The glyoxylate cycle occurs in a membrane-bounded organelle known as glyoxosome, which is specialized peroxisome. Germinating seeds are filled with lipid bodies that are very rich in triacylglycerol, which degrades into fatty acids which in turn undergoes beta-oxidation to form acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA enters glyoxisome, and it is converted to citrate by citrate synthase. Citrate is then converted to isocitrate by aconitase. Glyoxylate cycle shares the first two enzymes with the citric acid cycle. However, in order to ensure a net synthesis of four carbon compounds, the glyoxylate cycle must bypass the two oxidative decarboxylation steps in citric acid cycle. The third step of glyoxylate cycle involves cleavage of the 6-carbon isocitrate by isocitrate lyase, forming the 4-carbon succinate and the 2-carbon glyoxylate. The glyoxylate then condenses with a second molecule of acetyl-CoA to produce malate in a reaction catalyzed by malate synthase. The last step in glyoxylate cycle shares the same reaction with the last step of citric acid cycle, in which the malate is oxidized to oxaloacetate coupling to the reduction of NAD plus to NADH. Therefore, the net reaction of glyoxylate cycle involves the conversion of 2-acetyl-CoA to succinate, producing only one NADH molecule. The succinate produced from glyoxylate cycle can then enter mitochondrion and enter the citric acid cycle, resulting in a net production of malate, which can be exported out of mitochondria and converted to oxaloacetate which can then be converted back into phosphoenol pyruvate, leading to carbohydrate biosynthesis. Note that all the catabolic pathways are written in pink, the anabolic pathways are written in blue, and the amphibolic pathways, which are both catabolic and anabolic, are written in purple. Glyoxylate is a net anabolic pathway that is used for net synthesis of carbohydrates from lipids, whereas citric acid cycle is an amphibolic pathway that produces 3 NADH and 1 FADH2 for oxidative phosphorylation, as well as 1 GTP. Intermediates of citric acid cycle can also serve as precursors to amino acid biosynthesis. The partitioning of isocitrate between the citric acid cycle and the glyoxylate cycle is controlled at the level of isocitrate dehydrogenase, since the two cycles share the first two steps. When isocitrate dehydrogenase is inactivated by phosphorylation, isocitrate is directed into biosynthetic reactions through the glyoxylate cycle. And when isocitrate dehydrogenase is activated by dephosphorylation, isocitrate enters the citric acid cycle and ATP is produced. In summary, the glyoxylate cycle shares the first two step and the last step with citric acid cycle. It bypasses the two oxidative decarboxylation steps by the enzymes isocitrate lyase and malate synthase, resulting from a net production of succinate from 2-acetyl-CoA, which can then funnel into citric acid cycle, resulting in a net production of oxaloacetate and subsequently phosphoenol pyruvate, achieving net synthesis of carbohydrates from lipids. The glyoxylate cycle can only occur in germinating seeds of plants and some other microorganisms. Vertebrates cannot synthesize glucose from acetyl-CoA derived from fatty acids.